we are finally in the final four and let me tell you guys i really am pumped i'm excited to get these speakers back in here and see what they can do sorry for the background noise you know i got the windows open it's a beautiful day the subs are bumping I mean, it can't get any better than this. So let's just get straight into the testing. Like me, I think you guys are gonna be pretty happy about these next four subs. We're gonna start off with the American Bass XD. Now this sub really was a brute. This time, I think I'm gonna play a few extra sound quality tracks. You guys already got the measurements. You know all that stuff, so we don't need to go over that. And if you're anything like me, you probably wanna see all the details. If you haven't seen the rest of them, I will link the playlist in the video description below. That being said, I'm gonna play like three tracks on each sub. I think it's gonna be a pretty fun test. You guys will get a few more listening tracks. That'll help you make the decision for each of these. So we're going to go into the SPL testing now. We've already seen what these can do on a specific frequency. Today, it's such a beautiful day. I have the windows open. I think it'll be a great day to go ahead and see what kind of SPL these can do on music. I think that'll be a fun test. That'll switch it up a little more. Let's uh, load the track up and let's see what kind of SPL we get on music. All right, we got a 135.8 on music. That's pretty impressive if you ask me on a thousand watts ish. So I'm thoroughly impressed with this sub. I think I'd like the sound of it even better the second time. It's just been a really delightful sub to have. You know that feeling you get when it's a sunny day, your windows are down, it's not hot at all, and you're just cranking your music and you get a little that little giddiness inside. That is the feeling I have today with this sub, and I can't wait to get the crossfire in here because it was so impressive to me last time. So let's get that sub in the enclosure and in the trooper, and we'll see how it does. All right, I'm back. The crossfire's in here. Now this sub impressed me. It just came out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is. It's loud, it sounds probably the best in my opinion thus far. So let's see if it keeps impressing me. Now I'm gonna play the three listening tracks and then we're gonna see what kind of SPL it does on music.
The Crossfire did best the American bass. It got a 136.4 on music. This thing is just insane. It not only is it louder than the American bass, I still think it sounds better. That being said, that American bass, it sounds good. There's no denying that it sounds good. You're not gonna get that sub and be like, hey, it doesn't sound good, because it does sound good. I think that the Crossfire just edges it out. It's like a little bit cleaner, a little bit tighter, and you know, that could all be down to the box, as we all know, but in my opinion, I just, I really like this Crossfire. Whether you like the Crossfire or not is a totally different story. That's up to you to vote, because the poll will be in my community tab. You can go vote for either one of these subs, but don't forget, this is a super video because we still got two more subs to test. We got to do the CT Sounds Tropo and the Savard Rap 12. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put in the next subwoofer. Back in the Trooper and this time it is the Savard Rap 12 versus the CT Sounds Tropo. The Tropo is in the back here and ready for action. We're doing the same test same three songs and then we're going to see what kind of spl it outputs on music On music, the CT Sounds Tropo ended up doing a 135.2. Pretty impressive. It sounded pretty good. I think maybe it even sounded a little bit better on this test than the last test. So it's still kind of middle of the pack as far as sound quality. I don't think you're going to have any complaints once you put it in your closure in your system. It sounds pretty good. You're not going to have any issues out of it. And as far as output, you know, I think it does really well. And uh, it's up against some stiff competition in the Savard Rap 12. So let's get the Rap 12 in here and see what it can do. You know, not only sound quality wise, but if it can match the 135.2 decibels on music that the Tropo just put up. The Savard Rap Series subwoofer is in. We're gonna play our three tracks. We're gonna see what it can do SPL wise on music. Then I'll come back and kind of give you my final thoughts on the CT Sounds Tropo and the Rap 12. So let's get to it. Yeah. 
Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, that I hate, that I hate, that I hate, that I hate, that I hate. Please say any negative thoughts, I'm off when I speak, people say I cannot, I call it what it is. Savard only got 133.7 on music, and I don't know if you guys could hear it, but the coil definitely jumped the gap at least twice. We had a pretty loud pop, so I had to back it off a little bit. It did not like that test at all. That being said, the sound quality of it at regular levels sounds absolutely wonderful. It always puts a smile on my face. It is a really nice sounding sub. So now it's on you to vote for the CT Sounds Tropo or the Savard Rap 12. Let me jump back to the studio and kind of discuss my final thoughts on all four of the subs. All right, that's it. The final four has concluded. We have the CT Sounds Tropo versus the Savard Rap 12. We have the Crossfire C3 versus the American Bass XD. You've got to hear my opinions on what I thought they sounded like. You got to see what kind of output they had on music with the windows open. We had a incident with a coil jump in the gap. So the poll is live now. You can go and vote for your favorite. There'll be two of them. One for the Crossfire versus American Bass and then another for the CT Sounds versus the Savard. The choice is up to you. Which one of these do you want to see go on to the championship? Should it be the one that sounds the best? Should it be the one that's loudest? Should it be one that's kind of the best of both worlds? That's not for me to decide. That is for you guys to decide. I want to know who you think won each shootout. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about the sound of it, the output, your personal experience. I'm interested to hear all of that. After you guys choose two winners, We'll have the championship round and be able to conclude this full Elite 8 budget banger shootout. It's been a blast. I do have a slight twist for the championship round. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It'll definitely be fun. It could be disastrous as well. So either way, it's exciting. Go vote for your favorites in the community tab of my YouTube channel and let me know who needs to move on to the final championship round. So with all that out of the way, I hope to catch every single one of you on the very next video. You stuck around to the end, so now I'm gonna tell you how to win one of the two subwoofers I'm giving away. Beware of the scammers that are asking for shipping. That's not me, I will never do that. That being said, the way to win, first, you have to be subscribed to the channel. You have to make a comment on this video. And thirdly, you just need to put a hashtag of whatever your favorite subwoofer was on this in whole entire shootout. That could be hashtag CT Sounds. It could be hashtag Crossfire, hashtag Savard. So fire away in the comments below. I will pick a winner two weeks out. I will announce it on the championship video.